EV sales getting a big boost in the U.S. last year, jumping to 5.8 percent of all vehicles sold, while total auto sales faced an 8 percent decline. The EV push continuing uh, at Hertz as well, the company aiming for 25 percent of its fleet to be electric by the end of 2024. Joining us now here at Post 9, Hertz CEO Stephen Scher. Uh, Stephen, great to see you. Good, Good to, to have you here. Uh, let's start with the EV side. I mean, it's a bit over a year, I guess, or a year and several months since you announced the Tesla purchases. Um, what is the demand for, for EV rentals? And then also, are those rentals as high a return for you or better or worse? How does it play out? So EV rental demand is very strong and strong across all aspects of our business. So leisure travelers are looking to get into these cars. Uh, there's no better sort of test driver of an electric vehicle than to rent one from Hertz. Corporate travel in EVs also higher largely because corporates are satisfying their own uh, ESG objectives by compelling their employees to be and rent uh, electric vehicles from us. And then we rent a considerable number of electric vehicles to Uber right. uh, and Rideshare. Uh, and that makes an electric vehicle an affordable option, you know, to a driver who's not going to be in a position to spend $50,000 or so on an electric vehicle. And so that venture has been going well, expanded to Canada, and soon we have ambitions to have it in Europe as well. And from a business perspective, from your end, are you indifferent as to whether somebody rents an EV or, or internal combustion car? No. Well, we're early, but the EVs are proving to be quite attractive to us from a return point of view. We're getting a 30 percent premium on rate okay. uh, from an electric vehicle point of view. But equally, the maintenance on these vehicles is lower uh, than it is on a combustion engine car for all of the obvious reasons. Uh, and so that's working out very well. And what we're doing with Uber and Rideshare is proving to be very profitable for us, in part because they are long rentals. So a driver will keep it four weeks at a time, and we don't need to turn that car five, six, seven times in a month. So they're proving to be quite attractive. I've read some research. And in fact, I think it's City has a note out today talking about the potential of the U.S. as an EV market because our ratio of cars per household is pretty rich. Uh, but is, the, is it playing out that way in rentals as well, or it, it, other countries are ahead of us, really, on adoption? Yeah, I would say other countries are, especially in Europe, are marginally more advanced, in part because charging networks are more mature in those countries. It's new and young uh, in the United States. We have about uh, 2,500 uh, charges ourselves. We just announced a couple of months back a venture with BP to co-develop a charging network. They'll put their capital to work on our premises. And the data is quite rich because we know where these cars are going and therefore where they ought to be placed. And we are going to be uh, with, at the U.S. Conference of Mayors in about two weeks' time because cities are engaged and interested in charging networks, the ubiquity of charge uh, of electric vehicles on their streets for a whole host of reasons. And I think Hertz will be in an interesting position just given the advance we have on rolling these out in our fleet.